God is good. Please note that Father Michael's Ministries is raising funds, crowdfunding with, with GoFundMe under James Hendrick Empowerment. Please give your uh, best love offering. Would be gratefully appreciated. It's under James Hendrick Empowerment on, on GoFundMe. This episode is called Discouragement Under Praying for a Hurting World with Father Michael's Ministries. This is Father Michael's Ministries and this is what we this is what we believe. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's way to lie before me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from snares of devils, from temptations of vices, from everyone who shall wish me ill. of the creator of creation. And now, a message from Father Michael. Hello, my people, my children, my parishioners. This is Father Michael of Father Michael's Ministries. In case if anyone has wondered, I did not die. I, uh, excuse me. I has been a bit of a time since I podcast, and um, uh, I do apologize for that. But you know, as usual, things uh, need to happen, and things don't happen, and it, it really is a time frame for things to happen, and there's the heat on that, and everyday life. I mean, it's just. You know, just how it is with a lot of, you know, deep people in other people's lives, you know, that, you know, the job, the long drive home, bumper to bumper traffic, um, I don't know, it's just, it's just sometimes, you know, it just, you know, gets, you know, many people get discouraged. I mean, it's just like things just, just kind of just go on and on and on, and just that's just the way it's going, and it's and sometimes it just doesn't seem to be going a real good way, you know. And of course, that's just the way the things are of the world. I mean, the world. I don't. Not that I can ever remember that it, it was in a good way, except for maybe in the garden, you know, before you know, you know, the devil got involved in this. So, but. Anyhow, um, um, I mean, it's, you know, it's a, a lot of things in life really discourages us from, you know, what we want to, you know, do in life, whether it's physically or spiritually, whatever it may be, you know, I understand, you know, too, a lot of people can get discouraged from going to, you know, to the whatever church they're going to or whatever because of whatever the reason may be. There's many reasons and things, you know, and feel discouraged, you know, and everything. And just have to pray, you know, to you know, our, our Lord and Savior, you know, Father God, to... You know, help you know people out in, in this you know these discouraging days that you know as we are rather happening you know these days um they are saying something about possibly you know maybe a world war three okay 
Not that I'm saying that it will be. Not that I'm saying that I know it will be, because I don't. I have no, no, none idea. But, you know, somebody a little more, a little more, with a more, little more um, uh, clout than I got for going around saying that. And a lot of people listen to him, too, so. But I'm not him, so I am uh, can't elaborate too much, but I'm, uh, I will say that, you know, that one thing is, you know, also, also, I would say daunting. One thing is just so daunting in the United States is all the homeless rate we got out there. I mean, it's, I mean, I have seen, been watching this stuff. Okay, I've been watching this stuff, you know, you know, on YouTube. And I have been seeing all these homeless jungles in Southern California, and there's some law that says that they really can't throw them out where they are on the sides of the street, and they can't, and it's like, oh my goodness, um, I understand in some cases, in, in some places, now I've seen Arizona too, they are trying to get people, you know, some special housing or something or other, you know, kind of a hole in the ground or, or a hole in the wall, I guess you'd say, but not better than the streets. Uh, it'd be like an efficiency apartment, like a for a single person that has like a Murphy bed, you know. If any of you don't know what a Murphy bed is, that's a, a, a very little single kind of a bed that folds up and up into the wall and then you, people can't tell, you know, that's where the bed is, okay, that's what, that's what a Murphy bed is, an efficiency apartment, but, which, of course, you know, is, you know, way, 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 way much better than being on the streets, I'll tell you that, but people, after, uh, there's, but there's a lot of people that, are, that, are, that <clears throat> don't want to do it because they can't, you know, do drugs, you know, really, there, and, um, uh, and shelters and stuff, and I'm what I'm what I'm saying is that you know there are people out there that are homeless because they want to be homeless because it's 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 because you know they they could possibly go to a shelter, uh, they could go to you know somewhere you know and uh, you know get them a shower and something like that but the thing is you know they couldn't be doing any drugs or alcohol or anything while they're in there until they were let out in the morning and people don't want to live like that they want to be able to drink alcohol do drugs just whenever they choose so that's on the streets that's what they do they choose the streets because that's the only place they can get away with it and, you know, I mean, there's some places, you know, in the United States, you know, people crack down on it pretty hard. But, I mean, it's just in every state of the United States. I'm venturing. You know, I would say that, you know, uh, that I'm sure that there's a big homelessness in many of the states of the United States. Maybe not Connecticut, but um, then again, I don't know. But I'm... Um, uh, and uh, I don't think Delaware. I don't think Delaware neither. I, that wouldn't be a ghetto state. I guess not. That's where Martha's Vineyard is. So uh, no, that wouldn't be a ghetto state. Even though they sent all those um, uh, um, migrants, illegal migrants, over there to Martha's Vineyard with all those multi-million dollar homes and stuff. And how fast they bust them up to New York City. <laughs> my, 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 yeah, yo, I'm uh, the people in the United States government, you know, got their nice multi-million dollar, you know, fenced in, you know, you know, all their gated off, you know, lavish, you know, mansions and stuff, you know. It's kind of funny if you think about it, having all these people, you know, there that are just refugees, whatever you want to call them, you know, illegals, I don't know, but I'm, uh, it's um, it is funny when they went to Martha's Vineyard. That was rather funny, I have to admit. But um, uh, yes, I mean, you know, just just we all face discouragement. We all it's just something we all have to deal with. I have to deal with it uh, every day. You know, I have to deal with things. I have to deal with things like okay, I want to get a movement going. Okay, I have that have, have X amount of dollars to get this done and to 
achieving it. Like I said, it would that would take me to, to even say the whole thing would take me two hours, but that's just what it is. So, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, if I'm not receiving the funds or anything, I, it's not going to happen. So, I mean, you know, honestly, if you want Satan to win, you know, don't, don't, you know, don't help at all. But if you want Satan to lose and, you know, you know, and souls and, hey, chip in with this. It doesn't matter what, a dollar, even if it's a dollar, even one dollar. In all the five and a half years that I've been podcasting, I maybe asked for a few dollars maybe once or twice. And that's it. So I'm just not normally doing this. You know, when I'm podcasting off, I'm not always usually asking for money. If you don't believe me, go through all the many podcasts I've done for all these five and a half years. I'm pleased to. We might like them. I urge you to do so. But, I mean, you know, one dollar would help. I mean, if each and every person that heard me was to give me a dollar, I'd have have a couple of dollars that I know about, I, I really do know about. You know, in which, you know, I'll be seeing um, uh, next month. I'm uh, just letting, you know, them not able to be seeing next month, I do believe. And um, I wish they'd make me an eye model, but now nah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> but I'm, um, but it's, um, discouragement is just something, you know, that we all have to just deal with. And I know we we don't want to deal with it, but you know I mean sometimes I can I mean and I myself don't do this, but I you know some people like to go out and they like to dance and they like to have a few drinks or something. Okay, if you're 21 years or older, all right then. You know um, I just keep in moderation, you know, and that's just what some people do, you know, and of course, you know, there's, there's a place where there's alcohol involved, there's always the, the thing that, that somebody's going to wind up in a fight, I mean, that's just the way it is, when you got a year in a place with a bunch of people drinking alcohol, um, sometimes it does happen, I've had it happen to you know, me, when I was much, much, much younger and with a bunch of older group of people, much older than me. But, you know, that was okay back then, so. But, but um, uh, it's, it's something else, but, um, uh, you know, but and some people like to just, you know, they just let off steam. That's what they do. They like to go to a club of their choice, have a couple of drinks, and um, uh, just basically um, uh, just um, uh, have some drinks and have some fun. You know, that's just a little bit of something they do. But I always do it. But as I always say, you know, whether it's going to be your, it's going to be drinking or whatever other substances, you know, please, you know, you know, do not drive under, under, you know, you know, being intoxicated under anything, and I mean anything, you know, you know, make sure, you know, someone, you have a designated driver that is just stone cold sober. I mean, I'm using us to stone cold soap. In other words, you know, drug, excuse me, you know, no alcohol or any other substances. You know, arrive alive, you know, you know, don't wind up, you know, dead yourself or killing anybody else. And possibly going to the penitentiary for involuntary manslaughter. In case anyone's never thought of that before. But I'm, um, uh, but um, uh, I would just, you know, just go ahead and just like to, just you know, I just say to any of you all that have subscribed to me thing over the years, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, I always, you know, would like to know if people are listening to me anymore. I mean, you know, it's been like I said, it's been a little while since a podcast, but. 
I might just had my own little discouragement these days because I want this, I want this, you know, this movement to save souls for Jesus through a movement that I've got to sell different, you know, items and stuff, you know, it's just, but it's just the crowdfunding thing that, you know, I've just never received anything yet, you know, and I ask God, you know, like, well, Lord, you know, I'd like to do this, I'd like to do it whenever I, it, it, it's possible, but you know, why has it been this long, why has it been like this, I just, you know, don't understand, and I haven't gotten my answer yet either, so, I don't know, so, well, everything will work out <clears throat> as for, for the good as usual, so, um, yeah, now everyone knows, if you ever listen to any of my sermons, know that that I always get towards, you know, the end of my sermon to, that, you know, I got a question to ask. Well, no, let me make a statement before I make ask a question. The statement is, you know, is, um, are you a Christian? And if not, you should be. But, um, uh, it, it's, you know, to be a Christian, you know, you accept the, our Lord Jesus Christ to be our, your Lord and Savior. Because he died a very cruel death on the cross. And I've got into far, far much more than, you know, um, um, in my past um, my podcast, podcast about how the crucifixion actually went. But I'm not going to get into that just this far. And I'm, uh, and I'm saying that I'm... Uh, you know, Jesus died, you know, for our sins, you know, went to hell for three days, and then he come back, and now he's at the right hand of the Father, and that's why he is right now. So, my question is, are you a Christian? If you're not a Christian, you will be, you will go to hell, you will burn in hell, okay, that's just the way it is. You have to be a Christian, all right? That's just, and that's just, you know, and, um, uh, it's a very easy way to become a Christian, you know, it really is, you know, I just made a prayer myself, you know, that I have, and it speaks volumes, though, it's just short, but, you know, that you can be saved and go to heaven and everything, and I'll give you, you know, some instructions, you know, later, if you're just barely tuning in and listening to one of my podcasts, that, you know, that I'm, uh, and um, I just, if, and maybe if any of you have backslidden and you have fallen away from grace of the Lord, you know, you may want to pray this prayer yourself, you know, and get right back with the Lord, rededicate your life, really. And if I'm saying that, a lot of you would know about what I'm talking about, about rededicating your life and all that. But um, it is, you know, so, I'm um, uh, wherever you may be, if it is safely for you to do so, or you can do it, unless you're in some kind of a country or something, you might get killed or something, but don't do it. But just do it silently or something, please. But, um, uh, just please just say, you know, Father God, in Jesus' name, I ask you to forgive me of my sins in word, thought, and deed. In Jesus' most holy and precious name, amen, amen. So, praise the Lord, thank you, Jesus. Okay, now, if you prayed that prayer that, um, you you know, you are a Christian now, welcome to the world of Christianity. If uh, you had backslidden, you um, are, are right back with the Lord now, just... Uh, stick right with the Lord, and um, he, he'll never, he'll never leave you. Um, so, um, I, I urge any of you that um, I, you are not going to church, you don't have a church, I, you can find yourself a Bible-based church. Uh, you do need to be baptized, you would speak to the minister of that church that you choose about that. And I would say that, you know, that please subscribe, you know, to my podcast. It's totally free. It doesn't cost anything. Please give me a thumbs up like. And you can always give me a comment that, you know, that, um, uh, 
that's it in the uh, email address that will be said at the end and um, uh, you know, or if, if you wanted to email me and ask me a question you want a prayer request anything like that I, I wish you would go ahead and e email me and just go ahead and uh, do that and you know I guess I'd like to close you know my podcast when saying you know I just wanted to thank all of you each and every one of you for listening to me, and I hope I have inspired some of you. I hope somehow I have helped someone down the road. If even if there's one soul I saved, hey, that's one soul for God and one less soul for the devil. So, okay, I just want to thank you all to wherever you may live, just wherever it is. And you're listening to me, I just want to thank you. And just whatever you're saying, yeah, I'm just going to say I want to give you a blessing in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you would like to contact the ministry for press re for prayer requests or comments, please email uh, us at, it's all one word, Ministries at gmail.com. All one word, lowercase. We would love to hear from you. You can also are uh, we're available on YouTube under James A. Hendricks School of Leadership. You can leave comments on his uh, the podcast there as well. Until next time, this is Father Michael Ministries saying, "Take care and God bless you."